assalamu alaikum students i am your science teacher in this online lecture we are going to discuss about chapter 5 the life cycles in this lecture we are going to discuss about the life cycle first is reproduction now what is reproduction reproduction is a process by which new organisms are produced this is can be done in two ways one is sexual reproduction and the second one is asexual reproduction first we will discuss about the sexual reproduction sexual sexual reproduction involves the production of a special male and a female reproductive cells which is called as a gametes in plants male gametes are contained in pollen grains female gametes are called as ovules and also known as eggs when a male gametes combine with a female gamete a new individual of the species is produced which have both characteristic of the parents now asexual reproduction asexual reproduction does not involve the gametes some organisms have the capability to produce by growing new parts which can live as a separate individual and it only have only one parent sign the measurement of growth now first we will discuss about the growth 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 ca causes increase in the size and increase in the change in the shape the offspring from both sexual and asexual reproduction grow up to be adult and keep the cycle life going growth involves both increase in the size of the cells and also increase in the number of the cells plant and animals grow in different ways plants sexual reproduction in plants result in the production of seeds when giving the right and the seed will start to grow or germinate that needed water oxygen suitable temperature before they will begin to grow a new plant begins to grow when the seed takes in water now we will discuss about the vegetative propagation asexual reproduction in plant is also vegetative propagation many plants as well as being able to produce seeds are able to reproduce naturally by vegetative propagation such examples are strawberries potatoes onions strawberries send out special stems called as runners that spread over the ground and new strawberries plants grow at the tips of these stems this is done by the vegetative propagation the second example is uh, potato some stems of the potato plants grow underground and become swollen with the stored foods the swelling is a potato or a tuber if a tuber is planted new plants grow from buds the eyes which is called as this is also done by the vegetative propagation same like goes to this onion human have grown plants is actually by hundreds of years by cutting pieces of plant they like and growing them into the new plant this process is known as a propagation the new plants are called as a cutting by cutting germination was cut from the stem of a large plant in some other examples some plants can be grown from leaf cutting in another example is apple tree cutting growing by being grafted on the stem of a healthy plant and in this way we can do vegetative propagation to have special kinds of fruits or vegetables now we will discuss about the growth in animals sexual reproduction in animals result in the production of a fertilized egg cell this cell divides to make other cells which grow and continue to multiply in numbers forming an embryo unlike plants animals grow all over their body however not all areas grows at the same rate and sometimes changes in shape are so extreme that the young animal looks nothing like the adult 
different animals have different ways of growing up they have different life cycle the life cycles of an animal shows the stages that it passes through as it grows from a fertilized egg to an adult now we will discuss about the life cycle of a frog frog belongs to a group of animals which is called as amphibians other amphibians include toads newts salamanders amphibians have a more complicated life cycle than than the fish they undergo a process called as a metamorphosis metamorphosis means the change of form frogs undergo a process that is i mentioned that metamorphism called as so i repeat that metamorphism means change of form from frogs reproduce in water the eggs grow into the embryos then hatch into the tadpoles tadpoles spend their early life in the water breathing with the gills and when they grow up into the adults they move on to the land while breathing with their lungs here is a picture of life cycle of a frog now we will discuss about the life cycle of a bird in bird fertilization occurs internally after fertilization each egg is surrounded by the hard shell the female lays hard shell eggs in the nest where they are incubated here incubated mean providing a suitable temperature incubation involves an adult bird sitting on the eggs to keep them warm here we are giving the proper temperature for the hard shells egg to hatch from them incubation it involves an adult bird sitting on the eggs to keep them warm inside each egg an embryo grows into a chick when the chick is fully grown it hatches from the egg to continue growing into the adult bird here you can see the picture of the life cycle of a bird starting first stage is egg second it goes to the embryo third is hatching from the egg and the fourth one is chick which is a small baby and the fifth one is the adult chick chicken now this is your homework you have to do chapter 4 do question answers of page number 50 on your copies and uh, today homework is chapter 5 two questions of page number 59 61 63 64 and 66 on your copies and your deadline is monday monday mean monday you have to complete your homework till monday thank you